I just got back to the office. I was traveling a lot. There's a lot going on. I could try. Hey, hold on a second. I got to go. Shabbat Shalom, my friends. You know, the last two weeks, you noticed that the videos were in the beautiful nature. I had the great privilege to travel around with my children to the East Coast and have some weddings and bar mitzvahs and conferences and meet up with alumni and friends. It was a wonderful trip. But now I'm back here at the Chabad House in the daily grind in the office, trying to keep things going. And I realized it's so much easier to be inspired when you're surrounded in an uplifting environment. But when you're back in the office and you're dealing with the daily grind, it's not easy. Let me ask you a question. If someone were to ask you, what is the most powerful phrase, the most powerful verse, the most meaningful verse in the entire Torah, what would you say? Probably the Shema prayer, or maybe love your fellow as yourself. The sages tell us there was actually a discussion about what is the most powerful, meaningful, relevant verse in the entire Torah. And surprisingly, after much discussion, they chose a verse in this week's Torah portion. And what does the verse say? Are you ready? Drum roll! You shall offer one offering in the morning, and one offering in the afternoon. One offering in the morning, and one offering in the afternoon. And the question is, why choose this verse as the most profound verse in the entire Torah? And the message is so simple. You see, Judaism is not just about the fireworks. It's not just about the highs of the high holidays or the great moments when you're inspired. Judaism is about the daily grind. Judaism is about one offering in the morning, one offering in the afternoon. There's a message here. I can be inspired when I'm back east in New York hanging out with a million holy Jews, or I can be inspired here in the lovely Lawrence, Kansas, in the office, in the daily grind. This is where you find God. This is what Judaism is all about. Don't think you could only be rejuvenated when you're in the synagogue or you're hanging out with a lot of fellow Jews in the Chabad house. Wherever you're watching this video, whether you're in Timbuktu, in Lawrence, Kansas, in Chicago, Illinois, or wherever you may be, you can make that moment holy. You can make that day special because God can be found in the daily grind. So Shabbat Shalom, and let's get to work. Yeah, as I was saying, we could definitely...